This is going to be a very simple, um, more serious but like not video. Um, this is my New Year's resolutions or just what I want to happen for myself in the upcoming year in 2019. 2018 was rough for very many reasons, just like socially, emotionally. It was a hard year for me and people close to me. and. I'm just, I'm hoping that 2019 will be better, and I am making a promise to myself to make it better. Let's just get into what I want to happen for 2019. Okay, so the first thing that I want to happen is I regain some emotional stability. And I'm not saying that to be funny, it's like actually a true fact. I want to be fully confident in myself to be able to say like you know what i am content with where i am i just honestly i just want to be happy you know what i mean like that's that's the ultimate goal for me i want to be able to tell myself and genuinely mean it that i am happy and that i don't need anyone to make me feel happy i can i can just do that on my own yeah emotional stability that's that's the first thing the second thing that i want to happen for 2019 is to go to college and um that's obviously that's definitely gonna happen because i already committed to college at you know drexel woohoo yeah i'm just i'm so excited to move into my dorm and to start going to college and taking all the classes in my major because it's gonna be a fun time and i'm gonna meet so many new people i'm just i'm so hyped i'm filming this like in december right now and i'm not even moving in until september of 2019 but I'm, I'm really excited for this to happen. The next thing I want to happen in 2019 is forgiveness. Some people, some people did me dirty in 2018. I won't lie. I'm like on the surface, it doesn't bother me anymore, but there are times when I think about what happened and I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> A part of me wants them to feel some sort of fraction of how they made me feel, just so like they understand and they know, but in reality, that's not how it works. People move on with their lives. I'm definitely in a much better place than I was when everything was still going on. But I want to be able to like, look them in the eye and just say, you know what? What's done is done. And I won't have any hard feelings about it anymore. I want to be able to be fully past it and just forgive. Forgive, but never forget. You know what I mean? What was that? That was three things. The fourth thing that I want for myself in 2019 is to regain some of that motivation that I had at the beginning of like my junior year. Because right now, like I'm not slacking in grades. I'm just breaking all of my study habits right now. Like I used to, I used to be the person that would come home and do their homework right away. But lately I've been home and I just like, I take my time eating a snack maybe go on my phone for a little bit and then I'll start homework. I'm, I was also that type of person that would start a project right away, even if the due date was like in two weeks. And I've started to procrastinate a little bit more, um, which isn't bad. Like it's not at that point where it's like, oh my God, I'm cramming the night before, but I would like to get back some of that motivation that I had where I would start a project and finish it and everything would be done and over with by the time I need to hand it in. The fifth thing that I want for myself in 2019 is to meet new people, to make more friends, especially because 2019 is the year that I will be going to college and I will be making new friends. And honestly, like I've been talking to some people that are going to my college and everybody is just so cool. And I'm excited to meet them and to make friends with them. There's this one girl that I've been talking to and we have literally everything in common and it's amazing that like I'm so shook. It's wild but I'm excited. I really like her already and I like everybody that I've been talking to. I'm just excited to know that these are the people I will be making friends with for the next four years. So yeah, hopefully I find 
a bunch of great people that I can hang out with and I can just be close with. So yeah. Going along with like the whole making new friends and friendship thing, um, another thing I want to happen for myself is I want to really develop a close friendship or like just a, a really tight-knit relationship because I used to have that things happened between us that that's not the case anymore and I wish them all the best but they did hurt me in a way so it's hard to explain but basically I don't have as tight of a relationship with anyone as I did with that one person that's not in my life anymore and I kind of I kind of want that relationship again with someone else but at the same time now I know that there's a line even if you do have that relationship where you can tell that person literally anything some things you should keep for yourself because you never know like what could happen with that person now I'm just chilling with myself but I would like to have that like close-knit best friend or I don't want to say boyfriend because like I'm really not I'm really not in that mindset right now but just someone that I can be comfortable telling any anything and everything to but that doesn't necessarily mean I will if, if that makes sense that was like a very long explanation what is this the seventh thing the seventh thing that I want for myself in 2019 is to just you know live my life <laughs> there's like especially because this year I'm going off to college and I'm gonna be exposed to so many more new opportunities. I just, I'm excited. I I wanna be able to make the best out of everything, especially this crucial year, because it's I'm graduating high school, moving into college, making new friends, it's really stepping in to a new part of my life. And I wanna be able to have fun, you know? I wanna have a good time. I wanna, have fun and live my life with no regrets that sounds really cheesy <laughs> the next thing that I want for myself in 2019 is to really learn how to love myself for a, a big part of my high school career I just like I really didn't like myself at all and there was no particular reason for it it was just like I, I felt like I needed other people to give me validation that I'm not worthless and that's like that's not good um, but you know honestly I've improved a lot since that point in my life and I will continue to improve and hopefully I will get to that point where I can just be like you know yeah I'm I'm a boss I am Beyonce always shout out to justin too he he says that to me a lot or just like he just calls me beyonce get you a friend like that that calls you beyonce because honestly like that is a that is a self-confidence booster but anyways i want to be able to just be like you know happy with myself and confident enough in myself that i don't need other people to make me happy i can make myself happy so yeah that was it for all of the things that i want to happen in 2019 i hope everybody has a great new year's and a great 2019 and hopefully all of the goals that you set for this year will come true too thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye